it's Erin. Thank you guys so much for watching and commenting on my last capsule wardrobe collection. I meant to film an update ages ago, but unfortunately my life has just been so crazy and so busy. I'm getting ready to move to Europe, so I didn't have a chance, but it's now the end of the summer capsule wardrobe season, so I'm going to do kind of a summary about how it went, what I learned, um, and what I sort of found worked well in my capsule wardrobe and what didn't. First of all, I think it was a really great experience. I learned a lot and it was a lot of fun playing around with the pieces that I had and I really learned that I don't need as many pieces of clothing as I thought I needed. I felt really great wearing everything and I didn't get bored at all like I thought I might having such a limited amount of clothing. Because I'm in the process of moving and have been jumping around a lot, having a much smaller wardrobe has been amazing and I'm really starting to embrace uh, more minimalistic and simplistic living both within my wardrobe and just everything in general. So I did end up cheating a little and that was because we ended up going on a big camping trip and I didn't want to bring any of my nice clothes camping because they tend to just kind of get dirty and smoky so I sort of deviated from my project 333 for about a week and a half there. As well, I found the weather was really all over the place this year, which I wasn't necessarily prepared for, so sometimes I had to grab a few warmer pieces when it got really cold. There were a couple things that I found just weren't working very well. One of those was the gray shorts, and they just didn't really fit right, they were not that comfortable, and I just never really felt like wearing them. So I ended up swapping them out with this black skirt, so it was another bottom that I could mix and match with a lot of what I had and it was great. It fit with a lot of things. I could dress it up, I could dress it down and it was just like a good cut and I'm really happy that I replaced it with that. The other item that swapped out was the dark greenish kind of fitted dress and I have no idea what I was thinking when I put this in my summer capsule wardrobe. It just did not work, it was way too warm, too heavy a material for summer, and it just didn't really go with anything. I didn't want to wear it. I think I thought it would be good to have a more formal kind of dress, but it was just a terrible choice for summer. So about a month in, I ended up swapping that out for this long uh, silk midi dress. And this was great because I could dress it up or I could throw like just the plaid flannel on top and have it be a much more casual dress. It was great for summer, little tank dress. And I think both of these pieces I will probably incorporate in my fall capsule wardrobe because I think they both work really well. Also, my jeans got a huge hole in them that I just couldn't mend, so I ended up replacing those and I got a new pair of dark wash jeans which I hope will last a really long time. They're pretty good quality and much thicker denim, so I'm hoping to get a lot of wear out of those. A couple items that I found I didn't wear a lot, and that was the black t-shirt, which I was actually surprised by. I thought I would use that a lot. And the nude heels. Um, in the summertime, I just don't really wear a lot of heels. I mostly wear sandals. Overall, it was a really cool experience. It was interesting. It was fun to play around with what I had. I think I was able to kind of zero in a little bit more on the clothing that I really love and more my style and I'm super excited for my fall capsule wardrobe. So thank you guys so much for watching and for your interest in my summer capsule wardrobe video. I'll be uploading a fall video really soon so please check that out. Thanks!